In this demonstration, we're going to show you um, how to work with select single and long lists of values. So by default, if you drop a select single and you bind it to data that is coming from a business object or an Oracle SaaS um, set of services, uh, well, the service knows how to do pagination and Visual Builder knows how to work with it. When you pick up the list, you'll see that we get a certain length for our scroll bar. But as you scroll down, we're going to get more and more values. So we're basically paginating over the values, getting more and more until the end of the list, basically. Okay, this is a very long list, by the way. However, if you're working with a select single that is bound to a web service that doesn't support pagination, for example, this one, I'm going to show you the names of countries and return the code. You'll notice that when you pop up the list, you get a set of values, but as you scroll down, you don't get beyond the 50 records. So there's a 50 records limit on this select single in terms of display. Um, usually what we expect people to do is basically put in some search criteria and then we'll give them the list. But what happens if you want to be able to scroll more than 50? So to do that, you're going to use a feature of the select single um, over here, which is the collection slot. So what you do here is you enable showing the slots and then you can see there's a collection template. And this is where you can insert your own template for how to show things. So into this template, we're going to drop a component, a collection component, that allows us to show more than 50 records. Um, let's pick up, for example, the list component and just drop it in here. Okay. Now we need to uh, bind the list to data. I'm going to use the existing service data provider that was created for the get all. Okay. And um, then what we're going to do in there is allow single selection. Okay, allow us to select something. And then into the list item in the bind text, I'm going to show the current data and then the name of the country because that's one of the fields over there. So now if we pull this up, you can see the list and you can see the list is much longer now and we can go beyond the letter C to other things. And the one thing we need to do now is when we are selecting stuff, nothing really happens. So we need to add a selection event for the list. Okay, so we're going back to the list view. We're going to add a selection event. And in the selection event, we can do two things. One thing that we can do is we can assign the selected value, which would be the row key in our case, uh, into, for example, the selected value variable. And then the other thing we want to do is we actually want to uh, close the list, right? So to do that, we're going to take our select single component, this one. I'm going to give it an idea. And then in the action chain, on this component, we're going to invoke the refresh. And that's it. Um, now we can hook this component so the value is inside a selected value, okay, which would show up here. And now if we pop up the list, we get a very long list okay, with all the values in here. We can pick Oman and we get the code over here.